There we go. The recording started. Bye. So, where are we and why are you here? Let's go ahead and switch over so you guys can see. Anneli just tripped <laughs> over everything in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, here we go. This yes. was the situation last time. Now, uh, we can actually go back just a tad bit more when we talk about last time. <laughs> and we can go uh, here. Yeah. Because you found yourself back here. Now, what did you guys do back at the Black Staff Tower before you headed off to save the Round 5? Lot of things. Yes. So uh, let's start with how was the progress with young Teclis and who the hell is this? Wish? Uh, uh, the helper, because it's not going too well with the. Uh, no, because you can't really do this whole arcane magic thing. It's really not your thing. I, I mean, just you can... know it. I can teach it ish. Exactly. But don't, but don't tell, tell the black staff. Staff, staff. So, uh, uh, Techless friend Cine showed up, and Cine is basically this version, this universe's version of Hermione Granger. <laughs> so, um, she had her pros and cons, but she did start helping Techless to write the theorems down. So, we'll see how it goes with that. And you also notice that uh, Agnes, Cine, and Techless seem to kind of bond as well. So, you have your whole little like kid squad, Stranger Things <laughs> squad happening down here in this basement. Now, uh, we also had a kind of an interesting uh, interaction with uh, Big Boner mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> and Larissa. What was that all about? Uh, there was something about um, a special uh, pirate uh, uh, warlock. Exactly. It seems that... Now, it was an undead pirate skeleton lord, so it's not mm. that surprising that they may in some way be connected to this guy's boss, which is also the patron of that guy, but uh, he had information. You don't know how much, but he had a cost for telling that information. What did he want? It was books to read. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, terror deck. Uh -huh. And glasses, maybe. And glasses, yes, that's very much true. Uh, you also did give him a book. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave him <laughs> half, a half, book. half a book of uh, my romance novel. And he was very interested in flipping the pages with his long, bony fingers. So that was that. So uh, where are we with the uh, Tux? Where are we with the Elemental down in the basement? What's the plan here? Um, well, the plan is to um, get the Elemental as a friend, mm -hmm. get the map, and get the cauldron functional. Mm -hmm. And what did the elemental want? Remind me. He wants to call. get. He wants to get revenge on his former friend slash work exactly. master that yeah, lives somewhere in the Exactly. This water elemental was torn from his realm, forced into a cauldron, and worked with this gnome for a long, long, long time. And he actually started to like the work, but then he was just abandoned down here for a long time. And he could feel that the person who abandoned him is still in this tower and never comes to visit. He's pissed. He's very pissed. He doesn't trust humans or mortals, but he wants some kind of reckoning with his gnome who made him believe he was his friend and then abandoned him. And he's, he's apparently up in the tower somewhere. Um, what else happened here? I think that's it. What, what, what's the situation with Agnes uh, and uh, uh, Lionheart? Uh, I'm not uh, uh, now just too tired to remember. <laughs> oh, you made she, she became my student. Yes, and you're also making practice dummies in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> that you right. drew that for me. <laughs> I love that. And <laughs> now to the problem at hand. Now, uh, uh, Naib got some rather interesting news. Naib learned that uh, his uncle is coming to town. Jarl Axel himself, the living legend of the Sword Coast and entire Forgotten Realms, is arriving in Waterdeep City. But he needs something. He needs, that, uh, he needs Naib to uh, get the Rowdy Five, which he has recruited to his organization, from the hideout they're in down in Tree Dragon Alley to somewhere safe. And you decide that somewhere safe is here. You thought you had time, you uh, 
ended up not having a lot of time. But um, so you headed off to Tree Dagger Alley, uh, Tree Dag Dagger Alley, and uh, everything seemed you evaded the first two daggers rather easily, and then you came to the door. Oh yeah, I lost with, my ear. <laughs> yeah, with the red X marked on the door where you knew that the Rowdy Five were in hiding. The Bregendorf had a rat in it. Someone who had told the location of the Rowdy Five to uh, Naib's old matriarch who now wants them dead and had sent assassins after them. Two uh, Rowdy mercenary groups, the Greyhammers and the Black Dahlias were on location attacking the compound. And that's where you guys come in. So how did this fight go? Uh, how did this fight go for uh, Larissa? You did an awful lot of running, I think. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Both running and uses, uh, I used my chest piece to blow them up. Oh shit, yeah, you blew oh, up yeah. like a bazillion of them. Yeah. They had no chance I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and just to emphasize that, I'm just gonna do, I know how many there were. I'm just gonna do that, and then that. And then we, oops, not that. And we do this, just to kind of show that they kind of scatter dead all over the place. Just imagine this, but in pieces, uh, leaving merely two of the gray hammer that you can see still mm -hmm. alive. One with a shield and a hammer, and one with this giant black hammer. Now, those weren't the only ones here. We also had the black dahlias on the roof, a lot of them. Now, their leader stands over here, holding a bow and a weird glowing gauntlet. Uh, there's a few coming towards uh, Tiny Naib. Um, no, they and... are crying. Huh? No, they are crying. They're crying Dahlia. because the onion. The onion. Oh, yeah, yeah. These two are crying, exactly. And you the boss the had, got, had got the crossbow. Yes. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, still living, but has a crossbow in his chest. Okay, yep. Uh, I have his, uh, yeah, his HP written down. Now, this is Thick, one of the Rowdy Five, currently inside. Does anyone remember what you saw when you looked inside that building? She is still alive, and she is awake, but somehow she's been chained. So, actually... No, she she is, uh, she is in a bed, seemingly restrained and hurt. But that seems to have happened before all this happened. Uh, you also saw... Uh, the drunken lady. Uh, drunken lady in here, surrounded by, by red wine. Cheap red wine. And mm. drunk off her ass. Um, but these two are headed inside this building at the moment. So... Uh, that's a problem. So we stopped at the end of the initiative round. So we continue at the start of the initiative round. It is a dark yes. evening. Ah, what? Yeah, I remember that uh, I have uh, put one of those two dwarves in uh, with my pets. One of them, yeah. I had used my pet on one of them. Which pet is that? The, uh, the one that uh, ensnares things. Oh, yeah. One. Mm. Which pet is yeah. it? Which effect did you use? One of them. Name of the pet is uh, what I'm asking. I don't remember which one. Yeah. Oh, it was grapple one or something. Yeah, I wrapped one of the dwarf with the pine with the. I used it so many times before. <laughs> uh. Don't you have the card? Yeah, I have the card, but uh, I don't. Had it on me right now. I remember it was. But is it is the entangled one like that? Oh yeah. Okay. Got yeah. you. Got you. Got you. Then Thank yeah, it's fine. Or grapple. He is, he or... is entangled, which is this one. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, uh, he is fine. These are all in pieces. Uh, anything else I've missed or forgotten? Oh, what did Valdis do during this fight? I finave my blood to heal his fucked up arm. <laughs> oh, you're right. Shink. I, and I, Drink it. I, I Drink remember it. I, 
I I said no question, just drink it. Drink it. Remember, I <laughs> thought you cut off your hand and then just pour mm. it from you. <laughs> that's what I, but that's not what happened. So, uh, yeah, that happened. What did Tux do during this fight? Uh, Tux oh, uses uh, her balloon to get up to the roof. Yeah, up on the roof, up on this corner right here. Yeah. And uh, shout to the dwarf that we want our bounties. Oh, that didn't work. But you tried. No, I tried. I tried. Yeah. Uh, it was a good, valiant attempt. What did Wish do during this fight? Uh, ran up to the roof to try and get somewhere. Noticed Lionheart going down, side jumped down and uh, healed him and yeah. prevented right. him from going down again. That's very true. Lionheart, how has your situation been? Look at your fans new portrait, by the way. Yeah, I love okay. it. Okay, well, what's happening? I'm down at 8 HP. I'm mm -hmm. ready. So I have a 10 foot radius around me with fire damage too. Right. And I found the card and it was uh, the Colonel Commander of Thorns. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So, uh, all right. So it is a dark, starless night. Heavy clouds are up ahead, meaning that there's not a lot of light. There is only a light down here, but up on the rooftops, it's pretty shady. Uh, it's cold, it's frosty, making the rooftop slippery, and everyone else seems to have kind of closed the shutters on this fight happening in the streets, as they're probably used to doing down in the, the dock ward of Waterdeep. So, the first one out is Naib. Naib, find yourself on the roof. Uh, this wall is smashed in as well, I think, for some reason. Uh, and you have three people descending on you, but two are coughing into the mask. Tears are streaming down their face, and you're standing in this cloud of foul, noxious odor. But one is pretty much fine. So what do you do, Nabe? Yeah, uh, I think there's a, a hole. Uh, uh, like, back me, because... I think the reason I had cast fireball, so actually the roof is broken, so I can see. Give me a second. Drunken, uh, drunken lady. I think. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something rather quickly here. There we go. Uh, Yes, the roof is broken. I'm just going to draw it out, actually. That worked perfectly. Uh, yeah, Larissa took out a lot of <laughs> roof. <laughs> I mean, arg, 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 arg. Uh, I think some of, some, some of us has, had, had that too, with the blue roof, with the fireball. One. I think one. Let's do at. Because the fireball went right here, right? Also on the uh, blue uh, roof. Up. Oh, yeah. Up. Okay. Hit it on the corner on the house. Oh, right there. yeah. Let's board. do this then. So these <laughs> are just... And the, the doors are just completely blown in here as well. So this is the, 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 the result of the fireball. So yes, you can jump into this room if you want to. So Nate, yeah. what to do? Uh, I want to try some creative and cool things. If it is Go ahead. This. I want to shoot with my crossbow with the boss and with my radiant crop. And after that, I will use, try to, try to simulate the Jaracto. And I will shoot and run as a movement. All right, where do you want to run and, run and who do you want to shoot? So who do you shoot? The, the boss. All right, you shoot towards the boss once more. Okay. Yep. And I will use my radiant crop. Mm -hmm. Of course. And he is my... I think he, he, he's my favorite ball. Yes. Everyone is your favorite. I just get it racist. Okay, roll it. Natural 20. First. Holy First shit. Round. First round. Huh. Okay, roll damage. Wait, in the cell uh, one He's dead. Uh, one D eight. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, 
I'm reading some dice on my own. Don't rule them out yet. I need copywriter. Wait. <laughs> copywriter. I'm not a rogue, but I need some copywriter. Is 14 plus 10. Are you, are you saying the word copywriter? What about my hair? Okay. Dark and minded, Peter. I heard the same thing. Okay, thank Four. you. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Me too. Bruce. Or should I start calling you wanted from now on, Peter? Oh, yeah. I heard yeah. from, uh, Monica. from uh, Monica, yeah. Yeah. Total uh, 41 plus the last four. 45 <laughs> damage. 45, 45 damage. damage. All right. Uh, you fire this perfect arrow. How much of that is non-radiant? 28, but it's natural 20. Yeah, but I mean, uh, how, how much of the 40, dam 40 plus damage is non-radiant? And how much uh, is radiant? Non-radiant non -radiant is so 8. Uh, so, uh, no. It matters, and I'll tell you why in a second. 32. So 32 is non-radiant and the rest is radiant. Okay. You fire straight at him. You watch as he's already taken a hit from you. Still, the wound is glowing where he took it. And he has his eyes straight on you as you fire it. And you watch as he kind of hunches his shoulders down and looks at you. And then... I'm... He blew away. 21 plus 10, 31. As he catches the bolt straight in front of his face. But... As it does, the, the, the metal stops straight in front of his face, but then it just erupts in radiant damage, still damaging him. For how much is left of radiant? Uh, 30. 30. He curses as he kind of holds it, and he throws it to the ground. It's burned straight through his glove, and you can hear the fizzle of flesh as he looks at you. And he has his eye straight on Uni, but he negated all of the normal damage by catching the missile. I curse this Ibrif. And I will run back and yeah. use this acrobatic jumping. In it? Absolutely. Yep. You leap towards it. You watch as as you run, he draws his bow and kind of tracks you across the roof as you leap down into the building. Okay. Uh, you leap down. Give me acrobatics. There's a bunch of rubble down below, so it's not its not really the height that's the problem. It's landing in a way that doesn't hurt you, because there's a Eleven. bunch of stuff like sticking. Eleven. Eleven. Oh. oh no, you land on a piece of, of roof tile that just slips underneath you, and you ram straight into a beam, and you're crunched in your side for a total of 2d6 damage. Which is... Holy Eight shit! Two. 14! Ooh. No, 10. I... can't be 14. 11, I mean, math okay. isn't my strong suit today. It's still, still up. up. I'm, I'm still up. It's okay. Are you still up? But you, you feel, as you touch your side, you hear the soft crunch of broken ribs. It's not good I'm that you kind of get up. My rib is already broken. Well, well it's double broken, broken now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you land down, and uh, uh, after that, are you done? Uh, I still have movement or, or not. Yeah, not, I, since you, not since you uh, leapt down, that you since yeah. you movement the acrobatics down. Uh, so movement over. Just try to, it still has stone, stones around. And, I, oh, yeah. and now I'm look at the fucking kid, so I will hide. Yeah, and you see her as she's kind of knocked out in a chair, and she's still holding a half full bottle of wine in her hand. She is completely knocked out drunk heavily intoxicated uh okay you are done tux it's you you stand up on the corner of this roof as you watch naive disappear into the building and then you hear a fud as naive hits wrong as they land you also see this one's glove glow more and more and more and more and oh, you realize so I see that mm -hmm, and you realize that he has kept tracking naive through the wall as Naib went down, the bow went down as well, and he still has it straight aimed at Naib. Hmm. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? 
Um, Have you used the last weeks to make up that catchphrase? <laughs> Shoot last Sandy Cross. Snake no. eye. Um, hey, Lionheart! Take yes. cover! Take cover! Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> just take cover! So what do you do? I will uh, grab in my pocket and I will take my my bomb from Keeper. Keeper's uh, distraction bomb. Upgrade. Oh. Upgraded. All right. What did you fill it with? Uh, the black goo. You remember? I fill it with the goo. <laughs> okay. All right. Where do you throw it? Uh, I will throw it just behind the. Or between the, the two dwarfs. I okay, imagine give us that uh, Lionheart will move when I he say will. take cover. He will try. <laughs> he will try to do that. Give me and a second. The saving throw. <laughs> and I say, uh, you will hear um, seven short signals, signals. signals <laughs> and one <laughs> long signal. Put on your board. I remember that part. <laughs> And listen to the information given by the crew. <laughs> I am the crew. And yes, a, a fine, a fine I, sign I, out. I got work at, at the boat this year. I got work <laughs> at the boat. And then I push the bottom and I will just throw it between them. I love that. Okay. All right. So uh, you throw it. And and I'm going to go ahead and draw this thing because it really matters where it lands. I'm going to draw a little. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, I have my Perfect. remote ready on the um uh, okay so, yeah. so you, you basically throw it uh, let me go ahead and make sure you want to throw it between these two yeah uh like right in the middle yeah all right i'm gonna go ahead and draw this then that's it that's the all right it goes ding. actually no 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 you obviously <laughs> have to roll a sleight of hand to place it in the exact spot you want to place it okay so if you roll well, it lands exactly there. If you roll under 15, it's going to it's gonna change a bit in different directions. The roll. I remember wing. this. So I just roll. basically how well you are at rolling. At throwing it, basically. Oh, uh, just a flat roll? Uh, yeah. no, uh, no, uh, hand, uh, 17. You draw 17. 17 plus... Oh, 17 plus no. your, uh, You are uh, fine. 18, 19. Oh, you don't 19. Even have to. It lands straight. Yeah. It bounces on the cobblestones once, twice, and lands right between the cobblestones, and it's perfectly where you wanted it. You basically go, ah, and it just lands brilliantly. Okay, so that's done. It, uh, as we know, takes six seconds to trigger, so it will trigger at the start of your next round. Yep. Okay, anything else you want to do? That was your action. You have movement and bonus left. What do you want to do? Yeah, I will... Grab my balloon and jump off the roof. All right, we're aiming north, uh, east, oh, just, west. Just, uh, just uh... land it. Just land it. Land it I want, I want uh, to run to the dead dwarf in the corner. Uh, this one? Yeah, yeah. All right. Give I me want... an acrobatics to land with the. Even if you have the balloon, it's still a bit yeah. tricky. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's natural one. Great. Oh my god. Oui. You uh, leap off the roof and blown away. You remember Ooh. the wind? Yeah, I think I think I have two I have two ways to go here. I can either be mean and say drop the balloon, but I might break your heart, so I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> so <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a choice. You you leap off. And uh, Waterdeep is just this amalgamation of narrow, like, streets and, and alleys that kind of catch the wind from the oceans in sometimes strange ways. Including, oh. where you, as you fly over, land in some manner of weird fucking updraft that goes straight up. Oh no! Which means that the balloon shoots 60 feet into the air and you get to pick if you go along or just drop it and land on a cobblestone. I will not drop my balloon. That's what I figured. I, so you are I now... hold on my balloon. 
and you, you watch as took leap off go across and then the all of every single like wind that comes in goes here here and then you shoot straight up and took basically all your skirts go straight over your head as the balloon just flies straight Whee! up into the air uh, and you are now 60 feet in the air, okay? No problem. I have experience to be high. <laughs> yeah, you've fallen from high uh, heights before. So uh, That's gonna... why I hold my balloon. This means you are scary, scary high. And we're going to do this. Wait, this is actually... I have the perfect way to do this. Same oh. thing again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> As you find this. <laughs> okay. Uh... You still have your bonus action. Your movement is done. What do you want to do? Any bonus action, uh, Tux? So if you're done? No, I'm, I'm done. Okay, then Tux is done, leaving Wish. You saw this first hand, Wish. Tux came flying out and then went <laughs> straight up into the air. Yeah. He's used you... to... She's used to being high. Roll a perception, Wish. Uh, before you do okay. anything else. Lionheart can roll one as well. 19. Oh! For once. Uh, let's, let's see. see. If... Perception 8. Oh! Uh, let's see. Uh, um, hmm. I sent you what you see, uh, specifically, Wish. Oh, on which one? The one of the. In front of me, yeah. Hmm? Uh, I have some interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, I saw the rest of the dwarfs uh, head into the uh, closer to buildings before I left off the roof, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty worried about these rowdy five, four people in there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I am actually going to disguise myself to look like uh, the hammer dwarf right in front of me, uh -huh. then just run straight into the alley sh and shout shouting to the people inside there, come, come help! Oh, Trying to Im 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 imitate my voice to sound as dwarfy as possible <laughs> come help us come help us they are de they're destroying us out here so you want to run here yes taking the taking a, a opportunity I'm guessing attack if they you cast a spell this guy self yes okay right so you turn into a flawless rendition of dwarf uh beard and everything as you run past lionheart a dwarf runs past you you get an attack opportunity do you want to do anything? No, I think I saw it. <laughs> the question is, did ya? So roll a perception. <laughs> oh my how, God. And how about the other two? Oh, 19. 19? Yeah. You saw it. You noticed that Wish stepped back into the shadows and came out a dwarf. <laughs> uh, runs past. This guy is kind of squaring up at Lionheart as you go... Woo! through him <laughs> and he kind of looks over for a second rolls an insight and gets a six so he's just he's confused but not like aggressive towards you hey, so, now you and what did you shout you said i shout to everyone inside come help in, us come help us they're destroying us out here in what language Common? Yeah, that's that's a problem, isn't it? What, what, but well, who knows? Maybe a good enough performance role makes up for it. Let's see what happens. Performance? Interesting. Yeah, you're performing, aren't you? You're trying yeah, to well, be a dwarf. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm performing and I'm trying to persuade them. Uh, so let's give them 21. A 21. You, yeah, you, you pull out all your acting chops as you kind of go dark and gruff. Like a dwarf who's kind of forgotten that he speaks dwarfish because he's so panicked by the situation outside. As he bellows out. And, I mean, it could be aimed at these guys as well. I guess. It's aimed to, yeah, yeah. it's ev everyone. The guys on the roof, the yeah. other one that went inside. And the you big, watch boss guy. as the one guy who went inside looks out through the doorway over at you. 
and sees these guys kind of blown to bits and makes to run towards you instead of attacking poor Naib on the inside. You managed to lure him out. There was only one guy who went in. The rest came back out. This was there was him and him. And he came back out. So you have made sure that no uh, dwarf goes for the unconscious Laylor. Good job. Okay. Uh, you have used your... Did the uh, uh, ones uh, further in hear me as well? Oh, they heard you. Um... But they are not coming. Shice. Yep. Well, that's my stuff. Okay. Moving on. Valdis, it is you. You're up on the roof. I'm gonna... Yours. Oh, yeah. What to do? I'm going to take out my healing potion mm -hmm. and drink it as my action. All oh, right. Perfect. 10 hit point. And I'm going to walk to the top of the roof and like up say, here? Yeah. Perfect. And I'm going to say, You heard a lady and pointing the Tooks balloon. Say, yeah. I'm Valdus, the black swordsman, and this is my bounty. All right. That's it. All right. Now, you pointed the Tooks, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tux is very high up, and you notice how the leader looks up at Tux and the balloon. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll give it. I'll give it a fifty-fifty shot if he if he aggro's on Naib or Tux. But you you kind of went, look a target. <laughs> 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, okay, so you're you're done, you're up here, but you have more movement if you want to, because you only used 15. So do you want to use that to close the distance to these guys, or take more distance? No, I'm going to stay on top of the roof. All right, brilliant. Now it is them. Now we start with these two who head inside, and this one closes the door behind him. One second passes, two seconds passes, and then all the hell breaks loose in there. As you hear furniture being broken, you hear people screaming, and you hear the sound of blades on blades. What is happening in there? You do not know, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that for now, as you have no idea what is happening inside that building. And you've but only we found heard the noise. Two of, yeah, you still hear it. There's a fight happening in there. You only found two of the round of five so far. Okay. We uh, move on, actually. And we move on to uh, this one. Uh, you hear him bark uh, an order in... Does... Uh, Anyone speak? Well, I guess you have people to speak Elvish, right? Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. Name as well, right? Mm -hmm. Two. All right. He screams in Elvish, find the rest. And you watch as this one backs off, turns to mist, and the mist seeps down into the thin, thin uh, um, chimney of the building as he vanishes inside this building to search for the rest of the Rowdy Five. But the rest start sending these, like, you remember that the, it's basically a sharp metal sticks, like full Naruto style, sending them straight for Valdis. Flying across the roof. <laughs> Let's uh, AC start... 18. AC 18. All right. That is, that's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Ting, ting. Two of them. You strike your armor on the left as he misses both of his. This guy sends two your way. Uh, AC 18. One misses. But as you raise your arm to shield and set one, one digs straight in to the side underneath your armpit. And it digs in deep. And you feel no pain at all, but your right arm falls useless to your side. 
as it hits a nerve. Oh, Naib, you lost your left arm, right? Last I'm time. cured. I'm cured. cured oh, yeah, yeah, Marcus. he did. He used to cure. Never mind. We're good. We're good. So, Malis, your right arm, you were holding like up like this, and it just goes <laughs> on your side as you look down, wondering what the hell just happened. Um, These two send one each. They can only send one due to Naib's poisoning. Uh, one more strikes, and this one hits hard, and the second it touches you, it hurts. And you look down, and you see that it's covered in something green, and that green is making your, your skin fizzle and bubble instantly around it as it digs into you. You take... I need a constitution saving throw from you. You take uh, two piercing damage, and... Constitution saving throw. 18. 18? Only half damage from the poison, then. The poison starts working its way through your system, and you take 5 damage instead of 10. I'm still up. It burns, though. You feel as the poison travels through your veins, catching them aflame from the inside, but your body is fighting it hard. Okay. Uh, that was them, and now it's him. And he has a 50% chance to go for Tux, and a 50% chance to go for Naive. Uh, he aims back down at the building. You watch, but it makes absolutely zero sense as he aims downwards straight towards through the thick wooden wall, through the roof, and then he fires, and for a second, you're all blinded as a piercing beam of light goes straight from his bow, piercing the wall right next to you, Nave, and goes through you, maybe, maybe not. What is your AC? 16. 16. God... Damn it. You throw yourself to the side and see a beam of light go straight in from that wall and out that wall. And as it stops glowing, you see a perfect hole in the wall and realize that hole would have gone straight through you if it had hit. And the glow just fades. Cheating! Yeah. Using the laser! <laughs> she's, still, she's still drunk? She's oh, not she... awake? She's still drunk. This was him shooting the bow. You noticed that when he shot the bow, it just kind of erupted in some kind of oh, force. So. Okay. okay. Uh, that's them. Now it's Larissa. Well, I have two plans, actually. Uh, how far is it to the nearest dwarf for me? The nearest dwarf is uh, 20 plus 25. If I want to jump on the roof, how far is it? Uh, longer, because you have to climb up. How longer? Uh, How it's much? 30 feet up, and then it's uh, 20 feet, and then you're in a position to jump attack, basically, if you want to do that. I have 45 speed. Can I reach that dwarf? Uh, with a high if... enough acrobatics, Is I will allow you to, to get here. Can I, like, get there and jump on his shoulders? Yes! Also with a certain... First, we need acrobatics to make it up fast enough to get uh -huh. to the point you want to be. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to roll this openly. What? Oh, God, you already rolled it. Uh, it's rolled on the floor. Then I'm going to roll it. What's your acrobatics? Uh, acrobatics plus six. Oh, what do we get? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you basically grab a piece, throw yourself up, grab, and basically use your momentum to just go pum as you fly up on the roof and run across it. You... Oh. Uh, get advantage on the roll to throw yourself off the building on top of him due to your nat 20. Uh, you find yourself at the edge here. You see Naib looking rather broken down there. You also see the glowing hole in the wall next to them. Uh, hey. Hey. What's the plan? My plan is to jump on his shoulder. Then I will roll two more for you. Oh. How about plus six, right? Yeah. That's not great. 12. 12 is the max you get. You leap off the building and land slipping on his shoulder plate and land next to him instead. But you do not hurt yourself. 
Okay. But you are not on him. Do I still have an action? Uh, yes, due to your net 20, this was all your movement. Perfect. I have another plan. Oh, oh is it now? No, 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 I have my book. I have my book. So it's not the bead then. You can't help but wonder where the rest of the Rowdy Five is and what's happening to them inside the buildings. What do you do, Larissa? I want to blow my quack horn. Horn of quacks. Oh my god. The duck horn? Oh, the ducks. Yeah? I want the horn. Blow it. Well, uh, uh, yeah, give me a second. Just one second. A freaking horn. Please, 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 please. I know I have it in me. Uh, roll perform. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, perform. That is a 16 total. 16 of perform? Yeah. Okay, and it's 10 in each. So that's. I need this. You suddenly hear off in the distance something coming. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. From four different. God damn it, this is hilarious. From four different directions. Uh. There we go. They are coming. <laughs> are you? Oh my god. My... What the? Oh, I will, they're going, I... to... They're going will... to attack the balloon, aren't they? I, I will uh, yell out to the dwarves. Arg, beware of my army. I'll take you down. <laughs> okay, that was your action to do that. So basically, Land next to this dwarf and went <laughs> straight into it. <laughs> and I get a bonus action too, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I will use. Uh, where the hell is my papers? Um, I will use a key point mm -hmm. uh, to use uh, the fence. Impairing defense, I think it's called. Let's see. Um, it's called patient defense. Uh, I will use it. A key point to take the dodge action. All right, which yep. gives you extra AC. Perfect. All right, good, good, good. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close down Discord that popped up. There we go. Okay, so yes. uh, you're done, Larissa. It is the Lionheart. I'm gonna yeah. change your token here as well. There we go. What hey, and I have a yellow circle. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about uh, trying to use the dwarf to the right as a shield from the grenade. Like running around and uh, go behind him and like hold him, hold him on, so I can use him as a shield. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Do you, uh, you, uh, uh, you will get an attack of opportunity from this guy, even if he's an, an, an entangled. Yeah, because he can still, he can't move, but yeah. he'll do stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Yeah, he, shield, you run and he swings out with his hammer and his shield, going straight for your AC. Uh, 18. Hits as it strikes you with this Warhammer for 3 plus 4, 7 damage. Katang! Oh, oh my god. Are you fine? I'm fine. Uh, All I, right. Wait, so that's, it's run it up or down. Let's say I have 4 uh, up, Always up. 4. Yeah. You yes. run behind this guy and he turns with you as you do. But it's right between you and this thing on the round. Yeah. Then I'm not gonna try to grapple him. All right, strength versus strength. Roll. So he stands still and he still stands yeah. there. Roll. Uh, let's see. Uh, Seventeen plus five. Uh, Twenty-two. Lionheart grabs him with his arms, grabbing onto his hammer, trying to wrap your paws around him so you can kind of squeeze him and hold him as a shield. He looks up at you, and he is this grizzled old dwarf with grey streaks in his beard. His his lips are kind of like demolished in some kind of like explosion from before, so you can see like teeth and in, in kind of like a jagged edges of his <laughs> mouth. He spits you straight in the face and breaks free from you grapple. Damn it. Then he curses out in dwarvish. Wait. Dwarvish insults. Brilliant. 
Menu Shiramund, say Ahan. Anyone know Dwarvish? Yes, I do. It says, you are beardless. <laughs> Which How dare you? actually makes... Your beard is fake, is what it says, actually. Oh. That, that's what it is. <laughs> and then... That's what they mean. How dare you? <laughs> if and I then... just understood, I would say, that your mane is fake. And then he... Swings his hammer. What is your AC? Uh, let's see, eighteen. Hits. Damn it! He hits straight on you, and as he does, you watch as the sides of the hammer start glowing fiercely. And then, Larissa, I'm gonna need a dexterity saving throw from you yep. as the place he hits looks like this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, dexterity. Uh huh. Damn, okay. Let's Can I just go. yell out Tiger Man while I'm being hit? <laughs> <laughs> 18. 18? You get half the damage from this as you are thrown 15 feet from the blast and slam into the side of this building. <gasps> oh my god. The ball goes flying from the impact. Tink, 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 oh. like a golf ball. <laughs> uh, Tux, since you're in charge of the ball, I'm going to have you go ahead and roll uh, direction and how much it bounces. Okay. So, uh, 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 no, it's actually four because it's only this way. So okay. it either goes this, 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 or this. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Roll a d4. I wrote a, oops, bounce out, it's a two. A two? Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, bronze, I'm gonna go ahead and get an actual little token for this, because now it got interesting. <laughs> uh, bronze orb, I mean, come on, there we go. Okay, tools, uh, transparent. Uh, I'll go for this. This will be fine. No. Nope. Ah, perfect. Uh, it will do. Uh, it's going to make it slightly smaller. Here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the other one. There we go. Okay. So, this thing, change the token. What did you roll? Did you roll a two, you said? Two. Yep. Okay, and then I need you to roll, uh, okay, what, it goes away with quite some force bouncing. Uh, roll a d6, and this is times 10, how many feet it bounces. Four. So 40, 40 feet, okay. So it goes this way for seven feet, and then it bounces and goes this way, 14, and then it goes this way and bounces off his shoulder and then it goes here 20 and then uh, dexterity saving throw uh, uh, Lionheart to swat it in any direction you wish uh, the ball back, goes ding 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 uh, and it comes back at, the, back at the place where it was from the big beginning all right roll dexterity <laughs> come on something good before as you go ah and down. just kind of swat it away <laughs> uh, clean you have to uh, clean deck yeah 12. Yeah. 12. So you want it to go right here, right? Yeah. But it deviates slightly due to the 12 and goes. Actually, it lands right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so basic, the ball went. And just landed almost in the same spot it started. Lionheart just went to the paw, just went bam to kind of get it back there. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, you also take some damage. Uh, first, Larissa takes some damage from being hit by the wall. Half damage since you succeeded, so it's only four. Uh, Lionheart, you are yes. hit first with the bludgeoning force of the attack, which is a d12 yeah. plus four. Yeah, I'm down. A I one, had, even. I, I had four left. Oh, yeah, but it's half, isn't it? I had it too. 
But there's also some force damage. We'll see what happens, okay? So we start with uh, free damage. As it goes straight, straight into your chest. And it just goes... Drunk. And then it glows up and explodes in a D6 of force damage, which is the blast going out. Mm. Which is another three, which is two more. So you are knocked out. Yeah. You fall down... You see the whites of his eyes as he just kind of collapses backwards, slamming into the ground. Then he looks over at Larissa and uses his movement to get in to range. Okay. Then we have this guy who runs over as well and slams straight. And I I still have the door right? Isn't he entangled? Oh, entangled, right. He He needs to roll a strength. Uh-huh. Uh, strength 15. He has plus 3. So does he get loose? He does! And comes straight over to Larissa. Tearing free from entanglement and smacks Larissa. Uh, with how much HP do you have, Larissa? HP? Yeah. I have 27. But Good, because uh, he has not critted I, on you. Yeah, but I have dodge action still. Oh, how much? Well, now 20 still hits, so I, I assume. Until the start of your next time, you have an, an, any attack roll made against you has a disadvantage. Oh! Then he rolls again, so maybe it's not a crit. That's a two. So you just evaded a crit oh. with your dodge action. This is where I use dodge action, people, because it really can save your bacon. Okay, so he runs over and he swings, but you're looking at him, so you kind of dodge it easily. Okay. Then uh, this guy comes running off, faces off against you right here uh, and rolls an insight tube Rrr, he says and runs past you <laughs> 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 does not and stops right here okay uh it's nabe yeah. uh, the light is still the light is still on or is disappear okay. around my heart my heart my heart uh, the, no, the light is gone. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Yep. It's just with the impact, it goes. Oh, how long? How long? The range. How long what? How far, how far the range between me and Lionheart? Oh, uh, the range between you and Lionheart is uh, seven feet. Yeah, I will first run to Lionheart, use my right. action. I will cast Q once on okay. him. Yeah, you can do that with six feet of movement, but it's difficult terrain, so it's 12 feet of movement used, since you kind of have to move over yep. the rubble okay. and debris. Uh, and you cast, how much should you heal? Uh, Lionheart, uh, 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 six, Bruce, oh, spell casting modifier. Oh, nice. Lionheart gets 12. 12. 12, 12. 12. 12 HP back. Hey guys, wake up. Once again, I slap slap him. back to life. I slap him with bitch slap. Uncle Ouch. style. There is, there is a small you. draw on you, standing on your chest, pouring a health potion into you, and then just slapping you no? over Q and ones. over. Q Q ones. Ones. Right. Q. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, applying cure wounds with a slap. <laughs> All right. And then you, uh, what do you want to do and after that? I look at Lion Hot and say, big guy. Carry me. There's You're sure other need to say. Charging. If you need help, I still can help you. Okay. All right. So you uh, basically uh, get Move ready together. to ride Lionheart. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. You are so small and he's so big, it won't affect his movement at all. He can. Be, he doesn't give a fuck. Uh, Tux, it's you. Sixty feet up. Yeah. Yeah. This is you up here. You look down. Everything's so tiny. So a little. Question. Uh, yeah. My remote. Can I reach my bomb? With yeah, the- you can. Is that an action or a um, bonus? No, action? it's a bonus action to activate it. I do. Yeah, I do that. I do that. I uh, push the you button activ- to see how it's worked. And you watch as it yells out, surprise! (laughs) And suddenly, this happens. Goo just 
spurts out. Now, luckily, Wish is uh, uh, safe from the fact there's another dwarf in front of you, but he splats on the side of the wall right of you and the side of the wall left of you. And then you look back and see this guy just covered as well as this guy, his back. Um, you... Now, I, I don't know the damage. No, you don't. You don't know the ramifications of your actions. You have taken this cursed black goo, you have stuffed it into a ball, and then you've used it to attack other beings. This is how it looks for a second. And then it coalesces on the armor and starts working its way in as if it's alive. Ooh. What you have watch. you done? as it makes its way into the armor, and then you hear the dwarf just start screaming inside the armor. The, 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 um, the protection for the face falls down so he's covered, and the same thing happens to this one as he starts stepping backwards. Attack of opportunity to the wrist if you want it. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is uh, 15 plus stuff. Hey, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the, uh, let's see, uh, it's uh, 15 plus uh, 7, I think. Hey, All right, that's a hit, roll damage. Okay, that is a um, uh, D4. Total damage? Uh, five, six, seven. Seven. You twack him hard as he walks backwards. Uh, Tooks, you get to see this from a bird's eye view. You watch as they kind of stumble backwards, slamming into each other, back by back, screaming as you hear. I'm gonna go ahead and mute Lionheart. Okay, uh, you hear them screaming out as you hear the sound of bones shattering and breaking and flesh being torn from inside their armor. And then suddenly, they go quiet. And then they just stand there. Oh. Cool. Mm. So they scream, they trash, you hear, <laughs> and then they just stop, and their arms just fall, and they just stand there. Oh, cool effect. Yeah. So that was the bomb. My action. Mm hmm. The bomb is still here, by the way. Yep. I might need it a little later when I come to the ground. Uh, down. Um, as my action, I want to blast the uh, the guy with with a bow with a laser. Yes, okay. Yep. Do you have a uh, hundred feet of range? 120 with the oh yeah you fine then as you from above like a floating artillery station fling an eldritch blast straight down at him you uh oh, oh. roll it roll that was a 14 plus 7 is 21 it... hit roll damage that is a damage 10 10 10 yeah, and it's a six force damage, mm -hmm. and he's uh, reduced by ten feet. Veldrich blast. Uh, oh, he Veldrich. can't move. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 he can't move uh, as well. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, he can, but he's removed with ten feet. Got it. Okay, so that's that. Okay, uh, the Eldritch blast soars through the sky and slams into him. Uh, Oh, ducks. Uh, <laughs> ducks away. They're coming uh, soon. Uh, and then you're done. Wish is you. Did I? I saw all the things that happened with the goo, right? Yeah, and then for some reason you're invisible. I'm gonna. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I'm a dwarf. You're, oh, dwarf. yeah. That's why you're invisible. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Where are you? you the disguise uh, is so good, it tricked the DM. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, can I tell from how those two dwarves, uh, how they move and are, are they resembling Hob and Bob in mannerism? Are they hitting? Roll uh, an insight. Uh, yes, because that's... Oh, 13. 13. 
It's similar. All right, I'm just gonna. Uh, how far is thirty feet inside the uh, plaza? That's far. Awesome. I am going to use my cat speed, rush in, and <laughs> immediately when I start running, I scream to the two dwarf guys, "Follow me!" Just to see what happens. Interesting. Interesting. First of all, the fastest dwarf in the world runs into the compound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 60 feet in total. For... Yeah, and which means Sorry. that you make it easily to the door with seven more feet of movement to spare. Yeah, and I have no idea if the other two follow me right now, so I'm going to try and open the door like a panicked dwarf. Like a boss. All right. You, uh, I need, uh, you have a lot of speed, so I, I am okay with an athletic check to basically try to brute force this door. It's not open? No, I uh, closed it. Pack it, I'm just gonna brute force it, yeah. Uh, did you say advantage or? Uh, yes, yes, due to the sheer yeah. speed awesome. you came at. I am needing that because one was, the first one was a one and the other one is just a nine. Just a nine? Okay. Yeah. Here's what, you will slam through this door, but it will hurt you. Okay? Makes sense. You beat through the door, but hear a loud crack from your shoulder as you do, and you take two damage from it as the door falls at your feet, knocked off its hinges, and inside you see, you hear a crunch and watch as Cassia flips the head of one of the ninjas, just 180 degrees, basically just snapping their neck off. But she looks over in a panic, through the blindfold and everything, as Feck lies broken and damaged on a bed, and he raises a dagger straight at him. Can I say something? You have an action left. Oh, they... awesome. Yeah, uh, I... action. Sweet. Can I... Is it possible to see what the Fireball. race the ninja is? Uh, no. You only see uh, um, skin-colored eye slits. Okay, I am going to cast the vicious mockery at the guy going, Hey, you look like my pile, lo pile of laundry. <laughs> I like With all those I like clothes. A, I like a asked the race only to be able to insult them better. Oh, <laughs> like that yeah. That's the reason. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, are they immune to sleep magic? It's like, no, what's their race? So I can give cast yeah. shade in the most efficient way. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, they roll a save, right? Yes. Uh, wisdom save versus 15. Uh, they, uh, they failed. Roll damage. Awesome. That is a. One whole psychic damage and disadvantage on their next attack. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Okay. They, uh, you hear yep. them kind of go jarring as they look back at you, and you see them look down at the new threat, the dwarf, by the way. Who Can just I say ran something? In. Can I say something <laughs> quick with a reaction? Yeah. Friend, here to help. Just say it as normal wish, if they maybe recall. Oh, to those two. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I thought you meant to the dwarf, uh, to, the, to the, the ninja. I was like, first you oh, saw no, no. and then like, Fuck friend, hit yeah. help. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so, he might uh, think so. Uh, wish is done. It's Valdis. Up on the roof. Still getting peppered by all these fucking things that just go ching, 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 ching all around you. I'm going to take a step what, to the three guys. Just a step and say, so you choose to fight. Very well. And take another step. Tell me, are you afraid of dark? You should. They are monsters high in the shadow. And I are their king. And activate dreadful aspect. Everyone on the roof within 30 feet do a wisdom saving throw. DC 13. Or be frightened Ooh. of me for one minute. Ooh. I love it. Good you call. throw off your 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 cloak and they look at you. What? Like, is there any physical aspect to this or just the way you present? Do you look weird in a way? I mean, I can see, kind of see here. The the broken skin and the, the, the black eyes with the glowing blue pupils. Is that like it? Oh, when I activate my dreadful axe back, 
yeah. kind of like a shadow or black smoke surrounding me, and I have a, look like a bat wing on my back. I love it. Okay, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Uh, all right. So you activate. It's thirty foot, you say, right? Yes, yeah, thirty feet, and everyone within thirty feet. Okay. Let's see uh, how big that is. Am I in range? <laughs> oh, give me a second. No, I'm not. No, that is what happens. Uh, you activate your dreadful visage. It does look like you're placing a red explosive fart, but that's not what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but you activate it and they roll. Uh, see, the wisdom saving throw against how much? DC 13. DC 13, okay. Uh, wisdom? Yeah, wisdom right. saving. First one fails. Second one fails. Uh, and third one fails. And you watch as they drop the thing they're currently holding and just draw short swords instead, get holding them shakily towards you. And what about the other guy on the other roof? Is he within the 30 feet? Not within 30 feet, no. If you if you look... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Give me a second. It is the ducks! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> that is the range of your... There, yeah, placing you in the middle. That is the range of, like, black shadow that just, like, explode out from you. And yes, it does lash out and hit him as well. Who fails? So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab. I, I dropped my D20. It is the quacks. The quacks is coming. I am the shadow. I am the death. Oh my god. <laughs> and I have the quacks. Okay. So <laughs> now what else? Um, just the four guy on the roof. That's it. And they will be frightening of me for one minute. Exactly. They can't move closer to you. Uh, they have disadvantage on pretty much everything. Uh, there, and... let's see. Frightened. Uh, can't move closer to you. Disadvantage on pretty much everything. Except saving oh, Perfect. All right. And cool move. That's it. Okay. Uh, that's it. Then it's them. And they gang up on you with shaky hands they surround you as you hear the first two of these go out towards you with disadvantage uh plink plink then we have a grand total of three sword attacks um ac 18. that one's a hit so we're rolling it still a hit one one hits Two of them just kind of shakily graze up against you, but one of them actually bites home and does six damage as it bites into you, a short sword. As you find yourself up on the roof, this guy can't move closer to you. Never mind, I thought he was going to jump, but he's he's not jumping. <laughs> uh, this guy attacks her in bed. She's now awake and trying to dodge it. He has disadvantage due to wishes... Uh, uh, cutting words. As Feck tries to dodge the down descending blade, and Feck tries to go to the side with disadvantage, and it an eighteen and a one. Oof. Perfect. <laughs> so according it to plan, bites, it oh. bites down into the pillow right next to Neck, and Neck bites into the blade which, and just pulls the dagger from the hand of the assassin. Uh, then we have the one in here. That one's dead. This guy draws his bow and fires once more. Let's see. Um, hmm. There we go. Perfect. You watch. Tux, you can see this perfectly. Their bow is drawn as they turn this way. An explosion of light. Again. As it fires out. Piercing through the wall straight here. 
Beware. piercing through the gate, piercing through him, and piercing through you. I need ACs for you two. Which is which is E? It's not. I, I'm not there. It's not wish. It's only me and the dwarf. That's oh. not wish. Which is the dwarf? Um, does, it's already um, up. Then it's Larissa. That's the and, let's see. You can can. Uh, and does the this enemy counts as a ranged weapon attack? Yeah. Can I use deflect missiles? It, no. <laughs> Not on a laser. Unless you have like a mirror. <laughs> Wait, will a mirror work? I want to use deflect missiles. I mean, no. no. <laughs> is it it's using a laser beam or is it an arrow in the front of the laser? An beam? arrow that turns into a beam of light. Then I should be able to catch that arrow. The arrow is dissolved. Damn it! Okay, I will roll. Uh, what should I roll? No, I, I roll. AC okay. for Luisa. 17. Hits. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Dwarf. The dwarf ducks to the side and it goes right under his arm and hits Larissa dead well, on. I have Gem of Close Calls as a reaction. I gain oh. 2 plus to AC. 19. Yeah. You activate the gem, it glows up, and the laser just pierces straight through it and still hits you. Damn it! As you take 10 radiant damage. That's fine. I'm, I'm a big and you look speech. down and see a perfect hole straight through you. For one second, before the body realizes and starts bleeding, you can look straight through your own body. And it's That's just not... filled with blood that just pulls out. I mean, it's not the first time I can do that. No, you're basically <laughs> opening yourself up. Well, uh, he got... is done. They are done. Lewis, that's you. <laughs> you know what it's time for. Oh, I will this. eat my bean. Random animal table 5 e. <laughs> Okay, let's roll. I'm going to roll. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. 62. <laughs> no, 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 no. What oh. did I get? <laughs> Wait. Did I get? Something big. I'll something show you. Big, something big. I think it's small. <laughs> it was just something funny right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, I have Photoshop open. Perfect. Uh, there wasn't a good token. We always want a good token. So give me 10 seconds. Yeah, of course. Luckily, I am fast. Definitely. This is amazing. Um, I think this is going to be the best one yet. No. Uh, <laughs> no. You think? No, 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 Are you no, sure? No, no, no. no. I, I you're gonna be, you're gonna be sure. the worst one. It's gonna be the worst one yet. I, I guess no. Way. Worse than a penguin. That was yeah, awesome. I know, but uh, I got so many bad. It's this gonna be worthless. It's so to be perfect for a bad. monk. The shrimp has been the badness so far. That'll do. Okay. And then. Oh, no. This is going to be worth this. Oh, come on. Quick, quick export as PNG. Save okay. as. Mm -hmm. going to be a fucking PNG. whale. <laughs> going to be a fucking whale or something. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Much better than that. Oh, my God. A big freaking whale. I, I yeah. checked the, the table. Whale. It's amazing. I'm not ready for this. A pickle. Uh, pickle okay. Ring. I'm gonna throw it out. <laughs> you make it guinea pig. Guinea pig. Are you ready? No. No. Oh God. You should be. No, 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 not ready. It's amazing. <gasps> it just you feel yourself. Oh God, this is the worst Photoshop I've ever done. Never mind. You feel yourself change. Your arms pull in to your body. Flumps, flumps. Your legs throw in, grow into your body. Flum, flum. Your eyes go into one big eye in the middle as you scream. It goes, ah, and then grows and becomes red. What? You feel yourself turning softer and softer and softer as you hit the ground with a wet squelch. I'm a fucking whale. And nope. you look like this. That's the weirdest <laughs> slug ever. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I heavily interpret the results. It's cute. It, you, you have a mouth on your side, weird little tendrils going out every day, but you move like a slug. 
<laughs> and you also have some beakers at the front that you can... Uh... It's hot. It's hot. Here we go. You are a giant slug. I have the stats <laughs> oh for you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's better than I thought, okay. <laughs> it's poison. Mm. It's like a monk, but the exact opposite. Leech? Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. Oh god, it's not great. Oh, here we go. That's a good one. I found a challenge rating free for you. That'll be good. Okay. Uh, oh, I'll send it here. Well, of course I will. Uh, chat. Uh, here are your stats. I haven't read them. I hope I didn't give you anything OP. I hope you did give me something OP. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. Ah! <laughs> what did ah, I do? Yeah, it's a ah, or it's too three. Late. Too late! Too late! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, no, oh my god! Later. This is mine. Is who do do this? Okay. See. What can I do? Ooh, getting bold. Thanks to our spiritual weapon. This like is adventure with some okay. This like can climb, despite the climb. This slug oh. makes two attacks. Oh god. Ooh, okay. It's gonna attack him. Sixty-six there. hit points. What? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's more than a druid can become. <laughs> this level. Okay, I'm ready awesome. for this. What do you do? You are a slug. <laughs> he looks I'm down at you, and his eyes look like this. Ooh. And I would, <laughs> and I would make my tentacle go like. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> right at, and, at his face, and then I would attack with all my right. tentacles. I'm gonna flip you. Uh, bam! And you go. Rah, 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 rah. And you kind <laughs> of <laughs> arrange speed front. Oh, there there we go. Okay, so I need to roll a... Roll. <laughs> At the face. There we go. Face hugger style. That is a 16 plus... You watch eight. as what used to be Larissa goes... Flumps, and then just goes... <laughs> <laughs> straight up to the face. 16 plus 8. That's a hit? 16 plus 8. Oh my god. You hit. <laughs> okay, and one creature hit... Four? 1d4 plus 2. All right. Poison damage. Yeah. yeah. And that is a 4 plus 2, the 6 poison damage. And you make a DC 13 constitution saving throw. Oh, come on. 2. Oh, it, no. He fails. He's a poison for one minute. Yeah. And paralyzed. And as paralyzed. He, as he falls backwards and lands on the ground, frozen completely solid by the slug poison. <laughs> My god. <laughs> and then I will bite his as genitals. Bite his... Oh my god. You watch <laughs> as the slug works its way, squeezing underneath the armor, and then goes shump. <laughs> <laughs> don't destroy the armor too much, but we still need it. I don't care about the armor. Uh, that's 15 plus 4. Hit. You have advantage to take. No, paralyzed. Uh, par Wait, give me a second. Uh, I'm just double checking. There. Uh, pa -pa paralyzed. Okay. Advantage. So I can roll again? Because you fail on the first uh, attack. Natural 20. Roll. Uh... You have 8 plus 2d4 plus 2. So roll 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh, there's a 3 and a 4. So 7 plus 8 is 15 plus 2. is 17 damage to the genitals. <laughs> Your mouth opens like... Crunch. And you bite it straight off. Tastes like chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And a, yeah. Um, then I have movement, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, <laughs> I will move, so I'm getting. Can I move up on the dwarf? Oh, can I, can I... as you get near the dwarf, you look at its face and you see that it's bleeding blood from its eyes, nose, and mouth. He looks dead. Oh, I don't it's want the one to was attacked by the black slug. I don't want to go to him. No, I get that now. I, I want to go up to the wall behind me. This one. Yeah, just what? No, wait. How far? Blah, 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 blah. Ten, okay, yeah, behind me. Ten feet. Blah. Up. Very slowly. 
And they are seated on the wall, you know, like up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hanging on the wall. <laughs> it's like this, up halfway up the wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, are, the ducks, are the ducks doing anything? Oh yeah, the ducks. Uh, oh, the ducks. Uh, wait. They Duck. should be here right now, right? We will see. Yeah. I hope they are here. Fly 55 feet. Let's find out. The quack attack. Hey, it was duck. <gasps> next, next round as they all get closer. <laughs> I am the king of the animals. Food. <laughs> You've been ruined. Yeah. Okay. Temporary. What, um, what height do they, do they fly? Do they crash into me? Oh, yeah. They're at your height. You see swarms <laughs> of ducks descending on you. There will be 40 ducks flying through you in a second. <laughs> Sorry, ducks. Pam, 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 pam. <laughs> and the balloon. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's uh, Lionheart. Yes. Uh, so those are basically looking dead right now, those two dwarves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, then I'm gonna run inside and uh, trying to figure out where the last one is. I'm on person. my house back. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I'm at which way did you go? <laughs> I'm inside, Forward. you can't hear me. I just yes. knock in like a little okay, one off. movement. Forward! Forward! You see, you see a door. Right up uh, here. Yeah, I'm going through that door because I've. Yeah. And the broken door with the dwarf in it. Exactly. I know that's you. <laughs> you run up there and you see a door. I kick it in. <laughs> you notice something on the door. Hmm? A magic, almost like a pentagram looking thing is swirling as the door is completely covered in medical runes. As is the wall and the window. Oh, fudge. So, uh, since I have doesn't know so much in magic, he will still try to cut it open with the sun blade. Ah, you basically stab him. Yeah. And I try to stop him. Oh, yeah. Okay. But what do you say? What do you say, uh, Nade? I, I, because I'm on his back, so mm -hmm. I try to pull one of his lion, lion fur and big guy. Stop it! We need to get it first. It will be hurt. So what shall I do? <laughs> Make a look, and you can look up. A little bit. I can try to fix that, maybe. Naib, I need uh, a corner check from you. Seventeen. Ooh. Um... Sometimes you were thrown into isolation down below in the underdark. Small, tight rooms where no one could hear you scream. And the reason no one could hear you scream was because the walls were covered in the exact same runes as you see on the wall here. This is a silent spell. Whatever's happening in this room, no one can hear. I look at my heart. It is somewhere inside. Is shouting or do something, no one can hear that. Don't so break it the... down then. <laughs> it's it's not dangerous. There's no harm or anything breaking it. And all you have to do is break the runes and it will stop. Uh, so kicking the door is an option. I look at my heart and no, you can break it. Focus the light. Yeah. Break it. Um, so yeah, I know, basically break the hinges so it falls in, right? Yeah. With I the go ahead. Yeah, you go. <laughs> zing, zing, and then it goes. <laughs> okay. Roll, uh, and you don't really have to roll that much with the sand blade. You basically go, ch -ch -ch, and you watch as the magic fizzles, and then the door falls inward. The sound uh, spell breaks <laughs> as you look inside, yep. and you see the following. You see a room, a very much more richly decorated room than everything else. You see what appears to be uh, the eldest of the sisters. Hmm. She's there. She doesn't seem to be in a whole lot of distress, though, as she is in a rather large bed surrounded by three other women. And the reason for the sound spell, the silent spell, is suddenly very obvious. 
as they didn't want sounds to escape from the room of their current activities that you just barged into. I also, look at my heart. What do they do? They talk it all the... You watch three heads disappear on the blankets as she, holding a blanket up, looks at you and says, Get out! There's not open anymore, but I get out. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Ip! It seems that all of the Rowdy Five were spending their time in Waterdeep in all manner of different decadent activities. Which also explains why she didn't hear the ruckus outside, because she was inside a silent spell. So, uh, As I you... stand there behind the side there, uh, yeah. assassins are trying to kill you! You said you have that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll initiative on her. Add her to the order. Uh, no, not there. God damn, ducks everywhere. <laughs> You're welcome. Fuck off, ducks. <laughs> no, don't say that to my ducks. <laughs> so many initiatives. <laughs> They're just crowding out my initiative. That's quite fun. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. This sister in my room doesn't have an initiative count, right? Oh, yeah. That's the very true. One. Uh, very true. Okay. Uh, uh, you acted here, right? Yeah. And went into the room. So we're going to do this. That's what we do. So, fucking ducks. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, uh, Lionheart, you are done. Yes. The dwarves. It's the dwarves' turn. And you watch as these two dwarves turn at the exact same time and run down the street. Going 30, oh. going 60, and going 90 feet. Oh. Heading away with whatever the black goop was inside their armor. So that'll be interesting later. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, it's Nabe. I look at inside and see if she okay. She is currently, she has stood up. She has the blanket around her and she wraps it around her, snaps her fingers and it turns into a black dress. I look at her and say, I, I found another one in the cell. She's strong. I don't know. Uncle said that it's really fun to touch each other. What do you say, otherwise? What do you do? And after that, I will back to my to my house back. And <laughs> I will hold my action. So right. when Lion Lion move, and I will do the same. All right, so uh, she uh, looks over at you and says, are my sisters in danger? I nod in my head. She, like I said, she uh, stands up, wraps the, the, the blanket around her, snaps her fingers and it turns into a dress. She starts heading outwards as these kind of scurry up in the giant bed that she was in with them. And that's it for now. What do you want to do? What is your held action for? Yeah. yeah. My hold actually is when I have run to other room and when he attack will do something and I will do. So basically if you see you hold your bow, if you see a baddie you shoot. Yeah. So when he walks in you will go ah oh, bam and shoot. Okay. Oh. I like it. Oh wait, oh oh, oh I I uh, I I can can I check the before that? Can I check Lion Heart if he's still okay or he's still really bad? Uh, oh, medicine. Can. You can also ask him. Ask him. Come on, ask him character. I look at Lion Heart and take a look at this guy. Are you still yeah. okay? Do I need to give you another slap, Uncle Sailor? Maybe no I'll more slaps, but I feel pretty bad. On a scale of one it. to fifty, I would say around ten ish. <laughs> My eyes tend to determine. Yes, yeah. Uncle Sailor slap other one can make them better. And I will use Q once on him and slap him really hard. Right. No slapping. Okay. 
We move on to the Grey Hammers, and they are all gone. This guy is bleeding out from his genitals, and the other two have <laughs> run away, taken over by the black goo that Tux has unleashed upon Waterdeep. So, <laughs> there's that. We move on to uh, Tux. Lion you Hawk watch. 10 HP. Hmm? Uh, Tux, you watch as the black goo dwarves vanish away, moving way faster than have any, any right doing. My then you see the ducks coming straight for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, they basically go, bam. <laughs> bam. So, how um, how oh, slow does, uh, does I fall? You're slowly going downwards. You're now at 40 feet. 40 feet. Can I try to, to grab one of the ducks? So, so, um, I can follow the ducks when they go. I like it. You basically hold your action to try and grab as many ducks as you can, so yeah. they will you... drag drag me to the to the. Um, I just imagine Tux just seeing them going yes and just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bonus action. I will knock my balloon to to my belt. So I have two two hands. Uh, oh, to, to oh grab. yeah. Uh, I need a sleight of hand, and you're only really in danger if you roll super low here. That is, uh, oh, 18 plus... Uh, oh yeah, you're fine, you managed to tie it up. Okay, uh, Tux is ready for the arrival of the ducks. <laughs> First, it's uh, Cassia. Cassia runs over, and you watch as he, she grabs something from her belt and slices out with a knife towards that assassin. She hits hard, slicing into him for, uh, let's see, there's no one... Oh yeah, there's a friend next to her, so that's a sneak attack. Uh, she stabs in deep, and you hear the assassin go inside his mask, as you watch blood kind of speckle the front of it. Uh, she stabs out once more, uh, but he parries it, holding Cassia's hand as she tries to stab him in the face. Okay, we move on, and it's his wish. Ooh, yes, awesome. I am going to sh uh, shout at the... Oh, uh, actually. Uh, I'm just going to walk over, uh, sneak, and stab him with my rapier. You step over, and you stab. Roll it. Yep, that is a <laughs> 13. A 13 is a miss. He yeah. dodges it as he just stabs in air. Are you done? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You hear a whoosh sound as Sadef vanishes and arrives outside. She's floating in mid-air power in the form of like red tendrils of smoke lashing off her as she looks up full fucking scarlet witch style by the way as she looks around her she looks in the building sees that cassia has him she looks up on the ceiling and she throws out one hand and a pure just wave of this red energy lashes out towards them they fail the saving throw they fail the saving throw. You watch Valdis as the, the the red force wave just stops straight in front of you and bends in on itself, evading you. But it goes straight through all these three around you and just parts around you. Uh, second, he succeeds. He fails. Okay. First guy. Holy shit. Uh, crumples down as you watch as his skin loses all the moisture and it just kind of hugs his bones as he just turns into a skin-covered skull and falls on the ground, dead. Second guy who succeeded cries out in pain as he kind of withers up and kind of turns, but he's still alive, but has disadvantage and everything. He already has that to do, though. But he has super disadvantage now. And the third guy... 10-10. 24 damage. Falls on the ground, dead. Also turned into a husk of a human being. Okay. Uh, 
this guy looks over at what's happening, looks over at Valdis, has no white, and looks over at this thing, turns, and fucking runs. <laughs> you watch as this guy looks over at the situation, sees that that is active, sees you over there, and sees him running, curses, and also heads off. Damn, to come back another day. Uh, only one guy still alive, and it is Vallis. Uh, he's still alive, and yeah, and it's he kind of doesn't and look guess, right. And I guess Took is busy with the dog catching, so she didn't yeah. actually looking at me, right? Nope. I'm gonna do a unarmed strike and just bite his neck, trying to drink yes. his blood. All right. Oh my god. Use my teeth. <laughs> uh, oh damn. All right, you oh, grab. Shit, oh shit, natural 20. Oh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Roll the damage. Uh that's an unknown strike so there will be double eight, just eight damage. Uh yes, uh, uh it's not, not double. You roll you get one max die and you roll the other one. Uh it's an unknown strike so I don't get a roll. But on strike is a D4, isn't it? In uh, damage. No, uh -huh, strike, no I am oh, a paladin, so only I mark. only oh, have mark. one plus my string modifier. One plus strength. All right. Only oh, monk have my strike oh, is yeah. four. It's very and rare. Get that. People. Four. All right. Mm -hmm. Four. So double is yeah to eight. Yeah, you bite in. You feel he has. I mean, he was kind of going, kind of like non-moist but there's still blood in and you drain the rest of him he falls to the ground looking like the other two which means that your cover is perfect as he falls down just another oh damn i'm just putting everything on him now uh as he falls down a husk next to the other two husks you wipe your mouth <laughs> all right uh, you have movement. What do you want to do with it? Um... Oh, oh! Perception from her floating in midair. Oh, damn, it. <laughs> damn it! Let's see. Uh, you weren't stealthy at all, so uh, she has stealth. she has plus four, uh, and she needs ten or higher to see you. Okay. Oh, she saw. Damn it! Oh. She saw it. <laughs> and you two lock eyes just as you're wiping your mouth. And she I looks gotta do over this. at you. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as she cocks her head and looks over at you and narrowing her eyes and then turns around towards her sister. Whatever that means. Is it possible for me to see from the wall? Can I use my nope. movement to go into the hall? Oh, yeah. This? Yeah. Acrobatics? That will be 11. Oh, yeah. You land. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You also land a bit poorly, taking free damage from the land. <laughs> but after that, it is. There is a. It's a dwarf dead. Uh, he's dying. Uh, well, he needs to uh, roll the DC 14 Constitution Civ again. He rolled two, so no. Okay, then he's still poisoned and paralyzed. Uh, I think I can go in. Ooh, I want to use Guiding Bolt as a slug. Yeah. I'm a check, so there's no somatic opponent. Yeah, it, it can in initially cost the following spells require no material components. Ah, oh, but it could. Let me check. It is. Uh... Oh my god. No, you, of course you can. Go ahead. Ha, no, wait. Ha, ha. Ah, verbal. Verbal. You do not have a mouth. What? Uh, it's it verbal. Initially no, cost the following no, 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 spells requiring no material components. Yeah. It's, this isn't like material. Does this flag have innate spell casting if it, it knows Scanning Bolt on the stat sheets? 
Does it have it in the stat sheets? Yes, the one you sent me stands guiding bolt. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, spiritual weapon. Set. Yeah. What the, the fuck, fuck is that? Doing to what did you it's, find? It's a what fucking OP slug, man. I am, I am very sorry for the confusion. I thought you were trying to do some monk shit, but you do no, slug shit. And you're I allowed can't... to do slug shit. You're very I... much allowed to do slug shit. Yeah, because I can't do a monk shit like this. No, no, no you can use Guiding Bolt. Of course you can, because uh, why wouldn't you? You're uh, uh, the weirdest fucking slug in the world. Of course, I'm the coolest. Oh, right, the ducks also. 40. Six. What, what, what do you attack with? Who do you attack? Uh, what can I attack? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, it's 120 feet. 75. Let me check something. Uh, slug. Of course it has blind vision. Uh, yeah. You, you get to roll with disadvantage to hit this one if you want to. Can I hit the one that's fleeing? On the, the left. One over here. No, the, the, oh, on the left. oh, yeah, that, absolutely. Because you're already I... halfway up the roof. So you just go 20 feet more up, and then you I... just kind of go bzing over here. <laughs> okay, I want to. No survivors! Well, I, I say that in slug language. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, right, I can common. I can speak common as a slug. Wait, the... yeah. <laughs> I speak in common. What I the fuck you... did you find? I, <laughs> I Google Dive. To... <laughs> this is what happens. I Sometimes it's useless, sometimes it's good. This is yeah. the power of the team. Um, I will yell, this is the last time you will ever see the giant centipede. Uh, I don't know. Oh I'm, just, I'm just saying that. It's something good. Right, roll the hit. <laughs> okay, it's a... Let's see. Make a spell range attack, okay. Uh, what do I have for spell range attack? Plus uh, three. Plus three, okay. No, sorry, uh, uh, plus two, plus three. Plus three. Uh, yeah, spell, no, what the, spell, yeah, we stump, okay. So it's plus one. No, it's plus three to hit with spell attacks. It says in, in the stat sheet, so it's fine. Okay, perfect, okay. And uh, that is 15 plus three. 18, roll 4d6 damage. 4d6. Aha. The slug just fucking does a Kamehameha straight from Dragon Ball and just goes. <laughs> you see a small orb gather in front of its tentacles that goes. And it just pierces out. Actually, actually, you know what? 10, 12. <laughs> Um, I have a guess what's gonna happen. Let's see the laser beam. <laughs> there we <Yes>. go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Well, it's a laser slug. That's Eight. a picture right there. I want to <laughs> live forever. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks perfect. <laughs> How much? Eighteen. Oh, he fucking dies. He already had 18 damage. <laughs> and he pierced him straight through, and he falls off the roof, hits the cobblestone with a crunch, as he is dead. I can't um, believe he's lasered. <laughs> Slug laser. And can I say oh, hello to my... Oh, it's eye, actually. Wait, wait. Yeah, oh, nice, 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 nice. Uh... <laughs> right. There we go. That's what <laughs> happened. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how far is it from me to Tux at the moment? Uh, 10 feet. Is it 10 feet? Okay. Hmm? I want to use as a bonus action Sanctuary on him. 30. Uh, can you do that as a bonus action? Yeah, it's just for one bonus action. <laughs> okay, what? yeah. Do what? How much it gets better this, for? This slug looks up at you and you see how. Uh, it looks up at you, and you see a, a, a bluish light from its tentacles, and then blood butterflies, glowing butterflies, erupt from its mouth, come up and surround you, going around you. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, it's duck time. Duck time, okay. It is duck time. 
You do realize you have no control over these fucking things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, why do you think I am on the roof? They are going to eat you. Ducks eat slugs. Well, I'm a giant slug. You don't touch me. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's do it. Tentacles and stuff. <laughs> okay, the slugs arrive. Let's start with the ones that... Uh, they land on the roof. That's basically all they do. There are now ducks everywhere. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> More ducks. More ducks. All of the ducks. And the then ducks. the important ducks <laughs> that pass took. And I will try to and grab as many as I can. Slate of hand. Uh, over five, you grab one duck. Over ten, you grab two ducks. Three, over fifteen, three ducks. And over twenty, four ducks. By the way, will they land on the roof? I am on. Eleven. Uh, Eleven. You grab Eleven a hold of two of the ducks as they go to land on this. What, what, what does roof. the sanctuary do? You, if someone tries to target you, they have to roll to be able to do that. Okay. So, which means that as you are pulled along by the ducks, pulled down onto this roof. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it tiny again. Oop, that's too tiny. Whee, Oops. Too tiny. Look, the there ball we go. Is back. Uh, the ducks try to pick you, but the butterflies protect you from the attacking of the ducks that you're holding onto. As they kind of look back on, what the fuck are you doing? You just try to peck the shit out of you. <laughs> Will some of the ducks land on my roof? No, they all land here. Okay, perfect. So they don't see me as I jump a snack, I mean. <laughs> Just start eating you. <laughs> uh, that's it, and then it is Lionheart. Yes. Hmm, what let it do? There is uh, this that... guy alive, that's it. Oh, yeah. And there's <laughs> the one fun. in the other room. If you can there's one inside here and... as well. Yeah. But... but you have found all of the Rowdy Five. Four, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, aim with my uh, trusty, where is it now, uh, somewhere, uh, with the trusty harpoon gun. All right, so you go to the doorway. Yes. And immediately when you do, Naib's held action triggers. You see the last one. So I, I use my, already used my action. He, 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 kill kill uh, once is an action. He means that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, true. So no, I, wait, no held action. So okay, I just you. Yeah. I look at the dogs. I look at the dogs. There's and dogs everywhere. <laughs> do, do you know that it's me in there, though? I remember seeing you run past me. Oh, but it's too... No, I'm going for the assassin in there. Oh, that's a good one. This is perfect. <laughs> okay, shoot. <laughs> uh, 18. 18 plus, so I guess I hit. The oh, yeah, you hit. Roll the hit, roll damage. Yes, 1d6 plus 6. 5. Oh, 5 plus 2, that's 7. Uh, with the damage you've already taken, you nail the harpoon straight through their skull and kill them. There are ducks everywhere. The damage seems to be over. You watch as the mist seeps back out of the chimney and fucks off. <laughs> as no one else remains behind. Uh, she is completely drunk off her face, but she lands down in the middle of the courtyard, looks over at Naive and says, what is this? Uncle said that they, he wants to meet you, and you have progress. I know. Yes, we have been in touch. He throws you a letter. He told to dead. give you this. Uh, give me a second. I'll give it. Give me 
one second. Come on. Oh, there we go. Why isn't image working? I'll send it on the chat here. There we go. Uploading. Uh, zoom. She throws a letter at your feet. I'll send it to Nabe slash Tux. Is that on good? my face? No, no, at your feet, actually. Okay. He told to give this. He said we'd be safe. What is this? I take the rook. And rook on her. And take the rook. Mm, we, can, we can talk when we're back. Actually, we have found the safe place. Otherwise, your uncle easier. said this was safe. Why should I trust you? I obviously cannot trust your uncle's word. I point, I lie. Huh? Uh, you trust them. I trust them. You can trust the dog. I will start making my way crawling to them. <laughs> <laughs> and I will yell out, Wait for me! Wait for me! I'm coming! <laughs> You have saved sisters. I'll go with you. But I will have words with your uncle. I nod in my head and I look at her and say, I have something to talk to him too. Now, you leave the dock word with the rowdy five. But there are a few question marks. First of all, there is the super damaged thick who apparently was in a street fight with about 20 other people and we just she won but she <laughs> she got a bit beat up who carries uh, the wound? I, yeah. and when my... I carry her i carry her when i heard that i was uh, asking the blind one about what's wrong with her in there yeah as, as soon oh, as yeah. i heard Cass it, cassia says that... uh, she she got into fight she you went looking for trouble she found trouble trouble found her she won but yeah, took that... control that's it. And uh, yeah, yeah, we we don't usually heal her because we feel she should learn. Eh, fuck it. I'm not carrying her, and I drop my disguise and cast cure wound at second level. Oh damn! Well, that gives her enough. We don't have to roll exact amounts. No. It gives her enough to kind of stand up and go. She looks over at you and says, "We have a new like nice you. ho. We new we have a new nice hotel for you. Food probably included." If we figure that out. Oh, she like, looks down it, at her arms that where wounds are closing and she says, that means I can fight more. Now yeah, we might, we might have something for you. You head off with them. Who takes the super drunk Laylar? I'll do it. And can I use lay on hand to heal myself? The poison? You can also use five points of lay on hands to make her completely sober. My arm's still fucked up, so I'm just gonna buy my own rest and heal myself so I can use my arm again. And yeah. pick her up like a princess oh, probably, yeah. and carry her to the courtyard. Exactly. Now, uh, you I, find... I, I want... want no, wait. wait. I, I want, want to grab, grab my, uh, my bone first. Oh, obviously. Yeah, you grab it. You have it. I have it. Put it down. A slug crawls in to the courtyard. <laughs> I can oh, drag sorry. him. No, no, I, I'm going by myself. Thank you. I'm say, saying to you in common. Slug speed is moving. <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm getting to the it's middle. It's a bit drooly when you talk. It's like. <laughs> like a uh, like, uh, Sideberg? Yeah, also, like Sideberg. <laughs> when I'm uh, in the middle of the courtyard there, uh, when I'm about to get back to the Risa form. Can I do like, you know, in Pokemon episode two, when the Caterpie evolves? Yeah. So, can I do like the same thing? Like, uh, use a guiding ball right into the air and then switch back to the Risa? Yeah. yeah it looks like I'm <laughs> so it looks like I'm evolving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the giant slug is evolving. <laughs> oh no, oh no, that's not Who's that? It turned okay. into. Oh, oh Larissa. Here's what happens as you are moving through the city heading back towards the hideout well blackstaff tower that is who has the tattoo on the arm saying i apologize i have tux you feel an itch happening 
And as you pull up, you see that the tattoo has started glowing. Oh, what's happening? You also see a band of runes around your wrist, almost like a manacle. And the rest of you also feel a sudden itch on your arm. You don't have to, I apologize, but as you pull down, you see the same band of runes around your wrist. What is Are it they doing? arcane in nature? Which Very wish? much so. <laughs> Do I know what it what, is? The metal one or the normal one? Uh, uh, you can roll a corner. A corner, yeah. Uh, 15. Uh, 18. Uh, okay, wish you know that they're fey in, in nature. Uh, Tux, you identify them as bond magic. The power of promises and pacts. Oh. You also suddenly, a deep, booming, but almost paternal voice in your head goes, It is time. You have one hour. Oh, shit. Who said time that? What? what? Wait, what? You actually, if you roll insight, anyone over 15, I'll tell you where you heard that voice before. No, oh, fuck, I am minus. 30 natural. 14. Oh, give me a second. Natural, natural 20. Oh, okay, a few of you, that's enough. Uh, only needed. Okay. You all remember this? Oh no, that's the wrong screen. That's fine, I'll fix it. I'll just do uh, that. And then I'll just do this actually. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I look a bit wonky, but you all remember those stairs, right? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Those bloody stairs. You remember the conductor? I love yeah, it. Remember I as he turned into uh, Jack Frost? I hate him. Remember you. as he gra ran up the stairs, threw open the doors, pushed the orb into the sky, and said, We're going to war. And then you heard. No, he, he threw open the doors, put it into the sky, and then you heard a voice in there, a deep old paternal voice going, Jack, you fool! And then he said, We're going to war. Then everything was white, and you woke up in Waterdeep. The same voice just said, it is time, you have an hour. And before the start of the Jack Frost 2 adventure, you will have one hour in Waterdeep getting whatever supplies, you dropping off the Rowdy 5, getting whatever supplies you might need in the middle of the night to boot for whatever the hell will happen when that hour is down. You also see in Fey runes a countdown slashes that turn into other runes and then vanish and the next one turns into other runes and then vanishes going around so uh, this is where we stop for today you running through the streets trying to deliver a rowdy five as the sun starts shining on your wrist and you now have to prepare for god knows what in one hour and um, before so that, that uh when just go with them back to breath Blacksaf Tower, I mm -hmm. will give uh, Satif, the elder sister, uh, with the papers of the Roddy Five Pop type paper I have found mm -hmm. in Never mm -hmm. Winter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I just give it to her. Absolutely. Okay. And that is the cliffhanger for today. So Sorry. you need to consider, first of all, you have no idea what you're preparing for, but what do you think you will need? You know that the voice, I mean, you probably figured it out, is the one of Old Man Winter, and that is who is summoning you. And you know that he wants you for something, something that Tux has apologized for. And I have no idea. And we are down on HP and tapped to boot. <laughs> you are. I'm not. No, but you're just playing around. And that um, is where we will leave it well, today. When we're going back, can I roll mm -hmm. if I can see some uh, random glasses laying on the ground? Oh, this is the thing that we'll do at the start of the next turn. What you do during the hour. Okay. Because I will, I will be very careful. Where do we start next? It's still here. You start in the middle of the street. Uh, basically halfway from Tree Dagger Alley and Blackstaff Tower. Okay. You might okay. want to split up and some go grab stuff. The stores will be closed, so you might have to be creative with that. And <laughs> that is the problem you have next time. 
By the way, do we, do we get an XP for these adventures? Yes, you do actually. This combined with the water elemental adventure is one adventure. So how many do we have left until level 5? I have no well, idea at the moment. I will have to get back to you on that. Yeah. Perfect. Don't forget this uh, time. <laughs> no, uh, we will actually have to. It is a lot of math in that. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop out. I'll leave the thing running. I'm going to close yep. the recording and start